I opened this one in my bag one time and I can still smell it in my bag. Oh, and gosh. it's been like three weeks. So it was very intense. This is gonna change the smell of our whole apartment. Hey guys. Hey. It's Chris and Alon here. And yeah. uh, we're about to do something a little bit different. This is something, um, we've seen a lot of YouTubers do this, but this one's a little bit personal to me because I have this secret passion for dried fish snacks. The stinkier, the better. I love anything that comes out of the ocean that's just like, I don't know, super fishy. She's been going to the Korean market to get these and people have warned her they yeah. were like so these are legit don't, don't don't get that one it's too stinky and that and then she's like yeah okay that's the one i want now i don't buy anything unless at least like two korean old ladies have told me no honey you don't want that it smells terrible uh so this is more of a trying for me yes so uh, I'm, I'm mostly inflicting these on him so we'll, we'll see how this goes yeah there's one thing here that i have not tried so that'll be new for both of us yeah so uh, what do we have here do you want to kind of okay uh, go through these so i i should have probably done better research and like i should know what all of these are actually called um i don't but this is a uh squid that's been roasted and it comes with a spicy sauce this is the one that i haven't tried so this i just saw it was on sale and it was like a dollar so i was like great and then it's a grilled fish snack spicy taste suitably vague we don't know what's in here it's a fish snack it's a fish snack um and it's spicy flavor and then we have this which i've already opened sure so dug I've, into. <laughs> I've already gotten into this one um definitely oh, fra definitely really fragrant great. yeah very fragrant i can smell it from here I just really want to be able to eat these in public and you really can't and you can't like go anywhere after you eat this because your breath just smells like something died inside of you. Um, but this one is is great. This is roasted file fish. This one I really don't know how you're going to react to. Okay, that's shrimp, right? It's shrimp. It's like a whole shrimp and they've been fried in a batter that's seasoned with sort of like a seaweed and salt and pepper um kind of seasoning really 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 fishy um i love this i think they're kind of addicting but i am interested to see how you react to them without further ado let's let's Turn go ahead and let's out. go ahead and dig in uh let's start with the roasted fowl fish it's already open it's already open let's uh go ahead uh i'll let you uh okay. have at it let's so this one let me, let me get in there with this camera just so you guys can can like, really get the full effect. You can get like the... It. This one I love because it, it really does look gross. Um, it looks like a big scab or something. Yeah, get, get it real... Yeah, that yeah. looks that looks literally like a scab. Oh like my. it's... Doesn't oh, that, that is, make you want to eat it? So that is so fishy smelling. I know. So scary like, smelling. gosh. So we're going to give this a go. It's like sweet, but the more you chew it, the fishier it becomes. Yeah, the more the seafood hits you. You're gonna find that with a lot of these, they taste like beef jerky, but like, oh. kind of a different take on jerky. <laughs> um, no? No, it's, oh. It's just how the taste changes. See, I'm over here oh. like, you know, this one really blooms, it kind of becomes something really good towards the end. No, it, it just like gets more and more rancid the more you eat it. <laughs> and the moistness of that is literally just like, the smell that comes from a like fish store like it's just it's that bad no I, i'm not saying it's bad per se i'm just saying it's not something uh i crave but uh it's not bad like i i definitely was surprised with how like meaty it is yeah the one i think that's gonna freak you out is the squid really because that one's very much like meat how about we go we, we get into that okay let's do it I've, I've literally bought like roasted squid and before I even got out of the store like after I paid for it I just ripped it open and I was eating it on the street because that's how much I love these Okay, I'm already noticing like the smell is not quite as fishy You kind of get yeah. more of a spice, but I am intri intrigued by the spice packet Oh All right. I Wasn't expecting that so it's, it's literally just like a dipping sauce. Yeah so you can, like, and I don't, this might be like really dumb and this is like something that you're totally supposed to, I don't know, shake on there or do something special. I'm 
Not I'm, sure. I, I wonder if there's like a. I just dip it. <laughs> it doesn't say no, anything, nothing. You so. can read. Yeah. So are you just gonna dip it? Yeah. All right. I definitely have to kick. It's very salty. Honestly, I like the squid just by itself. And it's actually good. Right? I really like this one because it's not... I've had some that's like really, really sweet. I feel like what I like in them isn't the sugar. It's not the stuff that they put in to kind of mask the fishiness. It is the fishiness. I have this weird dream of like having one of these in a nacho cheese flavor. I know that sounds so gross, but that would be my perfect snack, I think. The sauce is really salty. Really salty. And it's not like super spicy per se, but it's a spice that really like hits you like at the front. Mm. It's like right like tip of your tongue kind of spice. The spice itself is nice, the flavor is nice, but it's really salty. Like It really is, yeah. Like it's, it's not a little much. Um, alright, let's, um... Do you want to try that one? Yeah, and then we'll do this Yeah, we'll, we'll do the shrimp last. Okay. I'm, that's the one I'm dreading. <laughs> so uh, excited It for smells... It. it smells bad. Oh, I'm really bad at this. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh! Oh, it's like a cracker! That's really interesting. Oh. Alright. And these, uh, like, I, I really like the packaging. Like, it almost looks like it's meant for kids or something. Yeah, it's a, it looks because like a really it's, cute it's a very friendly package, yeah. Like, it, definitely... it looks like a cracker. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I, okay, I'm, I'm into that. Let's, Let's give it uh, a go. I've never tried this, so this is... Let, let me... Uh... As soon as you bite into it, yeah, it's almost like a bitter. Uh, like it's almost, it's weird. It's for me, all I'm getting is sweet. Like the, the taste just sort of dissipates really quickly. It just yeah. sort of ends like it's a cracker. Exactly, it turns into like a regular cracker. It reminds me a lot, honestly, of that like crispy thing that you get at like the um, at Indian restaurants, and it's not you know non. It's like fluffy. Okay. I mean, it's like that crispy cracker like one. Okay, okay. No, I definitely get that. It's uh, yeah. <clears throat> like it almost has like a tostada kind of uh, Yeah, that's a good way to put it But fishy and I, there's a spice like it takes a second It just isn't fishy enough for me. I don't get any fish. I just get sweet. It's sweet. Yeah, spicy But the spice then, like, comes later like it, it, the spice is nice. I like the spice. No, the spice is really well done I, I like that and I would just eat this as a cracker. It's definitely the mildest one so far yeah. when it comes to fishiness but it also doesn't pack like a meaty punch. It doesn't, like, I don't know. It just feels kind of weak. Weak. What in the world? What a different one. Now it's uh, it's time for the one that uh, shouldn't be opened ever. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, oh man. Yeah, just kind of like activate oh. yourself. It's like a bottle of wine. You know, to like no. really oh, what kind get of all the you... notes. You oh. gotta just... Oh. <laughs> okay. That's the apartment, that's the smell it's gonna have for a while. Forever, yeah. That's Thankfully the... you guys cannot smell this. Okay, this is, uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. Yeah, they look like just, like, they look like shrimp. Yeah, they you look... You can tell that they're like yeah. all shrimp. And they're fried like this. Yeah, they're very dry. So, uh, let's give it a go. Hmm. What do you think? Oh. <laughs> You're making a face that makes me think that you don't like it. Which makes me very sad because I love them. Listen here. I love shrimp. That's you know you know you know you know how you can smell things with your mouth? <laughs> now the smell of that went through my nose into my eyes. Oh. Like, it's not terrible. The aftertaste is actually more pleasant than the taste itself because you get like shrimp in your mouth. It feels like you just ate a shrimp. Like a and it's gonna taste like that for literally the rest of the day. You're gonna be like burping this up. Just when you think it's gone, 
after you've brushed your teeth, it's gonna come back. It's gonna be there the next morning. <laughs> like you're just, your whole mouth is gonna taste like shrimp from now on. You feel free to eat those as m as many as you want. Uh, oh, I'm just munching away. Like make sure that I they're not in the house anymore. Wow. <laughs> just so that the house doesn't smell like this ever again. Now, when it comes to like, oof, when it comes to um, favorites, uh, what, what would you put last out of these? I already have an idea. I mean, definitely for me. The cracker. Yeah. Cracker is last. Um. Yeah. The it was just kind of meh. Like, yeah. no, tastes tasted like a cracker that someone sprinkled some fish flavor on, and then like. I didn't even get that. I got no. It's like a sweet cracker. From yeah. This. It wasn't nearly like. I want to say rotten enough. <laughs> like it didn't have any gross factor, and I need that in my fish snack. I need it to be like a little off. My second to last has to be the file fish. Okay. Just because I can definitely see that this particular brand of file fish for me too is like it's not my favorite. I'm surprised you didn't say the shrimp though. Now the thing about the, this is the file fish just kept getting moister and moister the more I bit into it and it kept releasing more and more fish flavor. Yeah. That, like after a while I just needed it to stop so I swallowed but that lingering fish flavor just kind of stayed in your mouth while the shrimp which is my I guess second favorite. Once you chew, like nothing comes out of that. Like the, the flavor just kind of dissipates after a while. Like it doesn't, it doesn't linger quite as much. I actually really like the squid. Um, I, I couldn't care less about the hot sauce. It was a little much. Yeah. The meat itself was actually nice. Like it was meaty. Good, right? uh, it wasn't overly sweet like everything else. Like I would definitely put this above all the other ones, far above. Just, I just can't stand, like the, the, <laughs> it, the shrimp was just way too much and the other two were just not enough. That's, that's kind of what I expected. This is definitely the one that if I had to pick something out to share with a friend that like eats normal food, this is definitely what I would go with. Like it's the most, <laughs> normal. <laughs> it's the most benign. It's the most easy it's, to like. Yeah. It's, it's the fish snack for normies. This is, this is where I started when I was first on my, my fish snack journey. And it takes a while before you go from this until you end up here. And I'm sure that the journey ends with me like in a red lobster dumpster somewhere, like just licking out oyster shells. This was fun. Uh, I wouldn't mind doing this again with some other types of fish snacks or something else. Uh, if you guys are interested in these kinds of videos, uh, let us know in the comments. Make sure to like if you enjoyed and uh, we'll make sure to do more. If you have any suggested suggestions for some snacks that maybe you would like us to try something, uh, you know, within the uh, bounds of sanity, even though if you really want us to struggle, feel free to suggest something. If you want to make me super happy and you're somebody out there who's like, oh my gosh, yes, I also love terrible things that everybody else hates. Um, she would love to try them. I would love to try them. Or if you're somebody who knows how to do um, nacho cheese squid or anything related to that. She would love to have your nacho cheese squid. <laughs> I would love that. That's my dream.